You're tuned into poetry sessions with Urban N. My style of poetry is basically kind of free throwing, you know, in your face. I'm not, some people sound controversial, I'm not really controversial, but I just say what it is, innit? But I don't edit what I say, I say what I feel like saying, yeah, me. Say it the way I feel like saying it, whatever. I relate to issues which everybody can relate to, innit? I'm not too abstract, not too complicated, it's just simple, sweet, innit? At the moment, I think poetry is in a state where it's quite stagnant, you know, like no one's really doing anything new or anything different, and I feel like there's room for it to evolve, and everybody to bring something new to the table. At the moment, I think it's all too much the same, quite rigid in its application. My influence, basically, they, it just consists of anyone who's good at what they do, you know. I don't look at a specific, like, figure in poetry and that inspires me. I inspire anybody who's really, really good at excels at what they do, so I could come from any angle, you know, in terms of sports, music, anything. I get my influences just from the drive, you know, just to do something good, something to make people say, like, wow. Well, not even just something amazing, you know, something. I want to stretch the limits of my brain. That's always been my influence. I've always been creative. I've always liked writing. I just want to stretch the limits of my brain to see what I can do in it. Just keep on pushing and pushing and just be better than everyone else. I was on a train once and I met this female. Said her name was Donna. Went to Ravensbourne, studied retail. Chatting, kind of feeling her style, so I asked for her details. Said I don't give out my number, but here you can have my email. Cool. A few days later, I sent her a message like, you remember me, that guy from the train? I'd really like to see you again. Let me know when you're free, when you ain't got a date book. She said, really? I'd like to see you too. You know what? Add me on Facebook. I wanted a number. That was cool. I didn't mind at all. Till I found out that our first date took place on a wall to wall. I thought I'd made a mistake, so I thought, let me try it again. I said, babes, I really like your personality. I'd really like to see you again. She goes, really? I'd like to see you too. Nine o'clock, log on to MSN. And it wasn't exactly a date, but I did make some progress, man. So I did get to see her again on her webcam. By this point, I'd given up. Then the next day, she asked for my number. I ain't used to being drawn, but I thought, what the heck? Then on Valentine's Day, she sent me a text. It read, I'm home alone in a really tight dress. So how about you come online and we can have cyber sex? That's not even the worst. It gets a lot sicker. I got home the other day to find out she was following me on Twitter. It's mad, because the next week I saw the same chick again. This time she looked a little more peng. I was like, let me try link her again. Forget what happened last week on MSN. I said, babe, what's up? You're cool, you're blessed. Where you heading? What's your address? She must have recognised me because she didn't prolong. She goes, don't be silly, you know my address. Donna Malcolm at hotmail.com. I mean, like, where do you live? Where do you stay? You know, in reality, dot co dot UK. That must have made sense to her because she started to focus. She said, oh, dot co dot UK. My house is the big one around the corner opposite those posters. Finally, I was making some progress. I just had to speak to her in a language she understood. Why didn't I notice? I said, look, babes, I want to log on to your website. Check out your under, I mean software. Insert my hard drive so I can show you some programs you ain't never seen in your life. That got her excited like, so how many megabytes can your hard drive download? I said, well, I've got the larger size. All depends on how much your PC can hold. And you ain't gonna worry about protection. I keep my antivirus in my back pocket wherever I go. From then she was like, let's go. We whizzed down the road. We got to her yard. She went upstairs. I was downstairs getting undressed by the desktop. I wasn't even finished. I was still in my vest top. When she screamed, baby, I'm ready. I was like, this is it. Let's rock. She came running down the stairs, fully clothed, holding the laptop.